Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends. In last video, we have learned the breakdown mechanism completely two breakdowns, Zener breakdown and avalanche breakdown. Now on the basis of that, we will learn the spatial diode that is Zener diode. Now this Zener diode is basically invented by the Clarence Melvin Zener. So after this name, we have used the diode, spatial diode as the name Zener diode. So this diode is having around the range from 2 volts to 200 volts but dominantly it will be affected by avalanche breakdown unless I provide the external circuitry to limit the amount of current which is flowing in the reverse direction. So basically the operated in reverse direction. Very few diodes are operated in the reverse bias potential and out of that Zener diode is one of them. Application of the Zener diode is predominantly it is used as voltage regulator. Now with these three points we will start the learning of Zener diode. First of all three questions will come in your mind that why Zener diode? How, what Zener diode and how Zener diode? Question why Zener diode is very clear that as our normal PN junction diode is not working under the reverse bias condition after VBR, current is continuously increasing and we cannot limit the amount of current. So to limit the amount of current, we will be having the different mechanism of doping in the construction process of diode itself and with that particular construction, we will learn the Zener diode. So this ends up the story why Zener diode and what Zener diode. Zener diode is basically what I've written over here which is operated in reverse bias mode which is used predominantly as voltage regulator to keep the constant DC voltage at the output even though the input voltage is unregulated that is pulsating DC in nature rather change in the magnitude of the uh, voltage in nature. But Next question is how PN junction diode gets operated. So we will understand the construction of Zener diode and then we will learn the working process of Zener diode. So before that we will just implement the symbol, symbolic representation of Zener diode. So Zener diode is symbolically represented as like this. And why this symbol is it will be very clear once we complete our operation and working of the Zener diode. This is the triangle and this is the barrier potential. Okay, so basically this will be your voltage Vz, right? So we will say Vz is nothing but the constant voltage and basically this voltage is nothing but your breakdown voltage of that particular diode which is specially designed so I will not get any harmful things in this particular diode even though it is operated in the reverse bias condition. So the plus minus which is with respect to anode not cathode. So cathode to anode potential is nothing but Vz. This is your cathode and this is your anode. Current which is flowing from cathode to anode and that is nothing but the reverse saturation current. Now question arises can I use this particular Zener diode in forward bias condition answer is yes so under the forward bias condition 
this Zener diode is same as that of normal p-n junction diode. Then what happens if I place in the reverse bias condition? In the reverse bias condition, the voltage Vz becomes constant. Now how can I keep the voltage constant with current limitation as well? This current is get limited by using the external circuitry that is one. Second thing using the its internal power dissipation control. So we can achieve this by the doping phenomena. So Zener diode is basically very heavily doped PN junction. Now what will happen if this is very heavily doped? Second thing is less width of barrier that is junction barrier and this will lead in the process of tunneling effect. Now we will learn the construction of Zener diode and operation of Zener diode simultaneously. So the, under the heading of construction and operation. Here we will learn the diode structure simple diode structure this is p type and this is n type but here we will keep the junction barrier which is very very less this junction barrier is very very less so i can say that whatever resistance which gets formed due to this barrier is also less and this potential is also less Vd is also less. So what will happen? This electron will get accelerated towards the end region and fill their whole chair. Empty chair will get filled. Now in this particular process, we will understand the phenomena what is tunneling, right? So Maybe this spelling will be correct, uh, incorrect, uh, let it be. Let us understand the fact that this is P type and this is N type and we'll be having a barrier. Okay, fine. And this barrier is very, very less. So normally what will happen, normally what happens, uh, electrons conduction energy level is well above than that of the valence energy level in any type whether it is of n type whether it is of p type but what happens when i am saying that this is p plus and this is n plus region that means the number of electrons in the n channel is very very high and number of holes in the p channel is very very high so that in comparison to the majority charge carriers, my minority charge carriers are very very less. But what happens with the energy level of the electrons of the energy level of the holes in P and N type region respectively for the minority and majority charge carriers. Let us understand this particular fact. The P channel is having the conduction energy level is this and N channel is having a conduction valence energy level is this. So generally happens that this particular electrons will flow in this region when they are in forward bias condition, right? So electrons take this particular energy level path. They do not take this direct path. No, it is not allowed. This is allowed. So generally in the Zener diode, what happens? This is your normal p-n junction diode. I'll rub this particular part so that I can say that this is normal p-n junction. 
Now the same way we will compare this with your P plus N plus region with very very less amount of width of barrier. We will compare this very less amount of width of barrier very less. So resistance is very very less. More than that if I increase the value of the number of carriers in P channel as well as N channel that means P plus here and N plus here then what will happen? Then in this particular case these electrons will not follow this path rather than that electrons will take this path directly right electrons will take rather hold on holes will take this path and electrons will take this path why this is so because we are concentrating on the minority charge carriers basis so why this happens basically this is because the energy level of this p channel is getting reduced and the energy level of n channel is getting increased when i'm talking about the comparison of ec and ev level if ec and ev level are both having with same energy level then why to worry about to move upside rather than that electron will follow this direct path than that of moving up with the energy level going up and then going towards the p channel region no this will not followed by the minority charge carrier of the zener diode then what will happen this electron will take place this tunneling mechanism and this is called as your tunneling mechanism and due to this fact electrons will require very less amount of energy to move from n channel to p region and p channel to p region to n region so with less amount of energy that means with less amount of external supply voltage electrons will multiply their numbers and can move with high amount of velocity so current that is minority charge carrier current will increases with a tremendous amount in the low voltage level itself but hold on with the less doping region the resistance is also less so two factors are very important high doping and less barrier width now even though the external potential is increases my current is increasing increasing and increasing will it be harmful for diode no this will not be harmful for diode this is because the power dissipation of this diode is controlling your mechanism of the current flow this will be very very clear when we learn the zener diode as voltage regulator see see the zener diode as voltage regulator when zener diode is forward bias right ideally act as diode right and when it is reverse bias it will act as voltage source which is constant understood so we will draw one circuit such that i am giving the input with one resistance that is called as source resistance i am applying the zener diode with the load resistance that means current should be flowed is load current okay let us consider the fact that this current is nothing but the zener current rather than that we'll say id okay and this is your total current i input voltage is applied like this okay zener diode is placed such that cathode is towards the positive side of vi and negative side of vi is connected to the anode of zener diode 
now i can easily say that ki i is equal to id plus i l okay now let us consider the fact that id is nothing but current which is flowing through the zener diode okay and we can say that the value of the voltage across the zener diode vz divided by r plus il is equal to i now here even though current is increasing right input is increasing my voltage across this zener diode that means voltage across this particular resistance is constant as voltage across this resistance that means zener diode is constant basically the current flowing through the zener diode is controlling the current flowing through the resistance rl that means i am controlling i am limiting the load current itself and this is how i am keeping the voltage vz constant so if you see even if two elements are in parallel the voltage across this rl as well as voltage across this zener diode is same as that of this is vl okay so voltage is kept constant question arises about the limiting current whether is it possible to limit the amount of current which is flowing through the load rl right two possibilities one is input voltage can change second possibility i can change my load rl that means i can replace my stepper motor by a uh, low resistive uh, device that is speaker right i can change my stepper motor to be the uh, dc motor so that current which is flowing which is completely based on the load resistance and load resistance is totally depends on the load which i am placing at the output side right so one thing is current through the load can change and second possibility is input voltage can change its value of magnitude now in both the cases i have to limit the amount of current which is flowing through the load and provided the voltage which is kept constant at the load side now i know that first factor is very clear that even though if vi increases right if vi increases then also the value of vz constant right value of vz is constant then in that case what will happen the value of il which will try to increase its value if the load resistance is changed right and this il is getting controlled by the value of id which is flowing through the diode right so what will happen when vi increases voltage across this zener diode is constant and this is achieved by increasing the value limiting the value of the il by compensating it with id such that i is equal to id plus il if i increases i have to control my value of id such that i can limit the value of il as well right so this is how the vi incremental value which will not affect the load voltage and current now we will understand the fact that if rl is changed that means current i l is changing if current i l is changing basically with this particular equation equation number 1 i can say this equation number 1 tells you that your total current is divided into id and il so i can say that if rl is changing i if rl is let's say reduced then il is increasing right this incremental value of il is adjusted by the reduction in id such that your value of the voltage across this zener diode will be constant and this will work as voltage regulator absolutely in any kind of change in your input voltage such that i can say that here even though i have change in the 
DC value of the input voltage I will be getting the value which is regulated that is constant so this is your load voltage and this is your input voltage and that is achieved by using Zener diode we will learn more and more numerical which are based on the Zener diode operation and this mathematical calculation to find out the resistance change to find out the source resistance uh, design such that we can easily design and solve the numerical which are based on the Zener diode circuits. Thank you so much for watching this particular video. Learn more and more ADC along with me along with Ikeda videos. Thank you so much.